likely receiving pressure from the, the green and black car of Naj Hussein. If Robbie Foley can get around Naj Hussein and then start reeling in Andres Gutierrez, that factor of having a teammate might help. And Naj Hussein has had a big crash coming out just before the final turn. He is nosed into the barrier. The front part of his car is off to driver's left. The entire chassis is off to driver's right. Nose and tail of the car are separated. Yeah, that's a big crash. It looks like he lost control on the curb on the exit of the corner. It looks like he's looking too much curb. Replay. Yeah, got on oh. the power. Got on the power a little bit too soon there over the curb. And uh, Rob and uh, Carl Masson there, who was running right with those two LMP3 cars. They got a oh. heck of a lot more horsepower, the V8s in the PC cars. But uh, Carl was hanging right in there. Also a spin on that same lap for car number 34. John Brownson. Yep, the veteran driver. This is the 113th start in this championship. Naj, good to see he is, he's okay. He's clambering out of that very badly damaged number three Ligier. Very, very strong built cars are those Ligier. They have very strong tubs. And the more debris that you ski scattered, that's normally a good thing. That means that the energy is being dissipated and it's not going through the driver. Naj actually walking away from the car, looking back at it. I don't know if that'll be repaired for tomorrow. He was the one that we were expecting to inherit the LMP3 Masters points lead coming out of this weekend. Now all Paul Fix has to do is bring it home and he will be in really good standing. He's got 50 points coming into the weekend compared to Lonnie Pechnik's 80. But Paul Fix now stands to receive the most LMP3 Masters points of any. That went round so fast, as you're saying. Yeah, these these cars are fast, and uh, you know it's it's still only running what was only I think the second lap after the restart. So mm -hmm. the uh, Continental tires perhaps not yet completely up to op fully operating temperature, and and it just uh, the car bit hard there on Naj Hussein, a huge wreck. The car just catapulted across the road from that curb on the right hand side of the track over the left and into uh, he heavy impact with that barrier on the left hand side 27 minutes remaining in this race and this will be a lengthy yeah. cleanup because there are carbon shards across the entirety of the track now our track and safety people are excellent at their jobs and they will get it fixed as soon as they can but this is a lot for them to work with it is and uh, boy that was a, a nasty looking impact for nash good to see he hopped out okay um bank balance not quite the same unfortunately because these cars are pretty expensive and uh, they're, they're very good value for money to run them until you hit anything. <laughs> uh, and then uh, then the bill gets fairly large. So it's a great shame because Nash has done a really good job this season. Uh, he'd finished in the top uh, six in each of the races so far overall in the LMP and in the LMP3 class. And as you say, was uh, second place in the points in the Masters and only eight points behind Lonnie Pechnik. Having, he, he'd been classed second of the Masters in each of the four races so far this season. And Lonnie certainly had a lot more experience in, in any sort of a racing car than did Naj. But uh, that's a, a premature end to his day. And uh, with just uh, a couple of the con only two contenders, as you say, this weekend in the Masters class in LMP3, um, we had uh, eight in the first round at Sebring. So, uh, and that was a great a battle that we were uh, privy to. So how about a quick rundown of where they stand? Not much has yeah. changed from where we started. Colin Thompson in the number 14 Norma is our leader after six laps. Kenton Cook is second. But on that last time through, Colin Thompson put the hammer down, posting the fastest lap of anybody by quite a big margin, about four tenths. Andres Gutierrez is third. That's the number 12, the highlighter looking car. Robbie Foley now slots into fourth. So now that situation that I was perhaps teasing a little bit earlier might come into play. Our MPC leader, the number 18, Kyle Masson, is back in fifth. Then in sixth, we find another one of our LMP3 cars. That is the 75 of James Dason. Seventh position is the number seven of Chris Wright. That's an MPC car. Then Michael Klemecki in the number 31, also an MP3 car. Matthew Dickin is fourth in, well, he's in the fourth car, sorry, the number four, in the ninth position. I'll get there eventually. And rounding out the top 10 is Kyle's dad, Robert Masson, in the number 11. Yes, and uh, Michael Klemecki then from 
Windsor, Ontario, Canada, leading the Masters class in the MPC cars. In car number 31, eighth position overall, third overall in the MPC category. And uh, that's another good run for Michael. He wasn't at Sebring, didn't miss the first two races of the season, but won the Masters class uh, and finished in the second and third positions overall in Mazda Prototype Challenge at the two second, the, the third and fourth rounds of the championship at Barber Motorsports Park. So Michael has been going very, very well of late. He, he had a good end to last season, and after skipping Sebring, has been quick this year as well. He's one of those drivers who tends to do select races every year. Last mm -hmm. year ran all three at the Glen, won all three in class yeah. at the Glen. It's kind of a breakthrough for him. It really was. At um, Canadian Tire Motorsport Park, ran both of those races, did not finish either of them. And then he ran the triple header that we had out at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. It was a, a Mazda-tastic weekend, I think it's fair to say. He was excluded from the first race, won the second, and then finished second in the third. So he was either winning or he was not finishing. There was no in-between. Win or bust. And unfortunately, the number three car of Nash was saying this afternoon is very much busted. Yeah. So hopefully that, uh, that team can get that car back out again for tomorrow. But it's, it's going to be a pretty tall order, I think. That's the Extreme Speed Motorsports this year. Running the same livery, that great, very distinctive, very attractive green and black livery yeah. of the ESM team. Nas ran with that team in a, a uh, MPC car last season.